Hi, Sunny Bonani, Dumelang. I'm Sheila Werner. I'm making a set of plastic feet and hands to use to lay in locomotive trails for grade twos for physical education. I'm using a polystyrene tray to make a template. I'm using light plastic file, devol file divisions, a craft knife, scissors, a marker, and a peg to help me hold folded plastic. Let's begin. The first thing I need is a template of a hand and a foot. I'm going to use my own hand, but normally I would use a child's hand and a child's foot so it fits better. I'm going to draw around the outline of my hand, but not separating the fingers. And then I would do the same on this side for the foot. Then I need to cut out my template. So with my craft knife, I'm going to slice out the rectangular bottom because it's easier to cut neatly if you don't have scissors, if you have scissors and you don't have rough edges. So there's one. And I've got another. All four sides, and there I have it. Then I've got a hand and a foot. I can just demarcate the toenails and the fingernails, and then I can cut this out with a pair of scissors. It's quick and easy, and this gives a stiff surface that makes a very good template. If you cut one foot and one hand and the material is reversible, then all you need is a double pair of feet and hands to have a left and a right. Here is my plastic, my file dividers. I'm going to trim off the edges because I don't need the parts with the holes. Just using my scissors to cut up the side. To cut up the other side just to get off the little extra bits. And now I'm going to fold it into four because that way I'll get a pair of hands and a pair of feet. Use the peg just to hold it steady. Use my template to cut hands. And then I'll do the same with the feet. Over here I have a set of pre-cut hands and feet. And how one would use this is to lay a locomotive trail. So here is, here are two feet next to each other. That is where the trail starts, you stand. Then perhaps you want the children to hop. So you put the same foot down twice. Then perhaps you would like the children to stand on to stand on their hands and feet. So you can put down a set of feet and a set of hands, like that. With these hands and feet, you can make a large number of different trails, including jumping, where you've got two sets of feet, walking close together, like that, doing big strides with the feet are far apart. You can include hands, you can include hopping, you can include jumping like a rabbit where you have two feet together and two hands together. 
and you can make an enormous number of different locomotor trails for movement rings. I hope you've enjoyed this activity and I hope it proves use useful to you.